Hey guys, Shaburn 1000 here. Today we're going to be trying out this bacon wrap bowl. Let's review this. Okay guys, we got this bacon wrap bowl. I've seen a lot of videos of people doing uh, reviewing these things and uh, the results are all pretty much the same they really doesn't come out like that but we're going to try this uh, first we're going to have to wash these off because they're pretty nasty someone's used it or tried to use it there's no instructions but it's pretty much you wrap it and you bake it but we're, we're just going to use the microwave for time and um, but we're going to see how these do I'm going to get them washed up, but then we're going to try it Chef Shea Bear style. So let's get this ready, and uh, we'll go from there and see what we can do with these things. Okay, we got our bowl ready, washed up. we got our bacon here. Now, from the looks of the picture on the box, it looks like they've got one piece going this way, one going that way and then one going around it. So we're going to try exactly what they did on the box. Uh, I don't know if they used whole slices, which I doubt, so I'm going to cut these in half and we're going to go from there. Uh, but, I don't know. Let's just see what happens. So they've got one going this way. They've got one going this way and let's put one around the side I don't know if we can get a whole one around the side or not but we're gonna find out my bacon's not cooperating with me but it might be alright now I don't know how long to put these in for so I'm just going to guess on this from my last experience with the 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 uh, cooking the bacon with a bowl that I did on my Chef Shea Bear. Um, let's try this for four minutes and see what happens. Now, as you can see, guys, that's our bowl. That's our, our bacon bowl. Now, it is hot. It is cooked somewhat. And it did drain all the grease out of it. So, it did drain the grease out pretty good. But... This is our bowl. It doesn't look much like a bowl to me. Okay, so you know what? Let's try this with a whole piece of bacon because I don't know. It doesn't show a whole piece on the box. It only shows it going out to here. So this may turn into a catastrophe. But I mean, we got to try it, right? I don't. I mean that's not a bowl and how how do they get by with putting in pictures I mean I'm getting the same result everyone else I've seen has gotten how do they get by with putting it that's that's false advertisement in my book I mean how do they get by with that stuff guys it's not right I'm glad we only gave two dollars for this thing because it'll never be used. Alright, I mean, see, it just doesn't look like... I don't know. Let's try it again. Four minutes.
and there it is. Um, this wasn't quite done. I know it had more bacon, but I had it in there longer as well. I had it in there for five minutes. There's no way I mean that's that's not really a bowl. It's kind of, but what I'm looking at here, guys, look at this bowl. They've got eight cherry tomatoes in that bowl. That looks more of a bowl like this size. It, it, there's no way that this turned into that bowl, or this can turn in to that bowl. Let's try it Chef Shea Bear style. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use whole pieces of bacon. I'm going to use two that way and I'm going to weave them. Okay? And let's see what happens. Let's see if we can make a bowl. And we're going to weave that like that. Okay? I don't know how well this is going to work. We're going to try it two different ways, okay? Now we're going to flip this. Now I've never made a bacon bowl like this before, but we're going to try it. We're going to put this in for like maybe 10 minutes, like that. There's what we come up with. And we're going to put this down over top of it. Now let's go put it in the microwave for about 10 minutes. I'll check it periodically. Okay, let's see what we got here, guys. Now, I got to tell you, that's only a 700-watt microwave. So, this has been in there about 17 minutes. So, your results may vary. If you've got a bigger microwave, adjust your times accordingly. Let's take this off and see what we've got. We've got somewhat of a bowl. It's not really cooked clear through, but like I said, the microwave is very small. And it did shrink up, of course. Um, we've got this side here that didn't quite cover as well as this side. So we're going, like I said, we're going to do this two different ways. Okay, let's let this cool. We'll come back to it and check it out here in a minute. Okay guys, we're going to try these two bowls. I don't know if they're microwave safe or not, so this could be a big fail, alright? And I could be looking for a place to live if I break monkey's bowls. 
but I'm going to do it a little different. And I know what everybody's thinking is, well, you can fry up bacon, you know, quicker than that. Well, yeah, you sure can, but you won't have a cool looking bolt. Alright, now I'm going to put this in here like this. We're going to flip it over. It looks pretty as of right now. So I'm going to stick this in the microwave. We're going to start out at 10 minutes again. I'll be right back with you and we'll check out the other one over here. Okay, there's our, our bacon bowl. It's still hot. I'm not sure how I can get this off of here without getting burnt or screwing something up. Ooh, it's hot. You know, if I cooked that longer, it might have worked out better. But, like I said, we're experimenting. But I'm going to call this one already a fail. Yeah. I should have cooked it longer. If I did, it would have made somewhat of a bowl. It's a lot of bacon there, guys, so but that's okay. It won't go to waste. But look at all that, that grease that has come off of it. And this is just, I mean, that's not a bowl either. <laughs> So there's what we got on this one guys. As you can see, complete and total fail. Now, I wanted to try these bowls because it was more shaped of a like a bowl. Now also, a lot can have to do with the bowls I've got being black and you know the heat and everything. So <laughs> I made a plate. <laughs> okay, so let's compare these three ways that we made these this bacon these bacon bacon bowls. All right. Okay, guys, this is what we ended up with. This is the best bowl that came from the actual. Uh, bacon bowl maker thing we kind of got like a tea saucer teacup saucer here with this one using our method of the two bowls and this one it kind of it kind of made into a bowl once it once it cooled down so if I'd have cooked it a little longer or um, put put my bacon a little different, I think it would have turned out pretty good. So there's there's what we got. So guys, there's our experiment on uh, bacon bowl making. Wow. Anyway, if you guys have an idea that you have tried and it worked out really good, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And we'll give it a shot and try it again. But so far, this looks like it might have been the best one. Maybe even cooked a little longer. Um, it may have, because uh, it's not real crispy, it may have tightened up. Another piece of bacon there on the edge, I think, I think it would have turned out pretty good. So I may experiment more with that later. So anyway, guys, I want to say thanks for watching. But this bacon bowl maker... Don't buy it. It's useless. <laughs> Two bear claws down. Thanks for watching, guys. 
We'll chat soon. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. Gone for now. Bye-bye, guys.